Hi everyone, this is Who Gets the Glory, and today we're reading Streams in the Desert for December 13th. I will give you the treasures of darkness, Isaiah 45, 3. In the famous lace shops of Brussels, there are special rooms devoted to the spinning of the world's finest lace, all with the most delicate patterns. The rooms are kept completely dark except for the light that falls directly on the developing pattern from one very small window. Only one person sits in each small room where the narrow rays of light fall upon the threads he is weaving, for lace is always more beautifully and delicately woven when the wearer himself is in the dark with only his work in the light. Sometimes the darkness in our lives is worse because we cannot even see the web we are weaving or understand what we are doing. Therefore, we are unable to see any beauty or any possible good arising from our experience. Yet, if we are faithful to forge ahead, and if we do not give up, Galatians 6, 9, someday we will know that the most exquisite work of our lives was done during those days when it was the darkest. If you seem to be living in deep darkness because God is working in strange and mysterious ways, do not be afraid. Simply go forward in faith and in love, never doubting Him. He is watching and will bring goodness and beauty from all of your pain and tears. J.R. Miller The shuttles of his purpose move to carry out his own design. Seek not too soon to disapprove his work, nor yet assign. Dark motives win with silent tread, you view some somber fold. For lo, within each darker thread, there twines a thread of gold. Spin cheerfully, not tearfully, he knows the way you plod. Spin carefully, spin prayerfully, but leave the thread with God. Canadian Home Journal Thank you for listening, and God bless you.